It is I, Christ. I will speak about the transition that is taking place at this time within the, within the souls of so many on the planet. The transition from the 3D to the 5th dimension is being activated by the Sacred Heart of Compassion, Mercy of Divine Sophia. Today we will continue to open your heart chakra to Divine Mother Love. Mary Magdalene and my mother will open your heart chakra to hold more of the Divine Feminine Energy as this is needed to bring forth the transition of the old patriarchal world of greed, manipulation of humanity. Today is a very powerful portal day of trans- transitional light from the frequency. Today is a powerful portal day of transitional light from one frequency into the next. Allow yourself to feel your heart chakra open to Divine Mother Love. You have many lifetimes of pain and suffering, and today Kuan Yin, my mother and my Mary, will heal the wounds of the past to allow you to move forward to live from your sacred heart. As the rose petals of your heart open, others will feel your softness and open their heart as well. And so, dear ones, yes, it is I, Christ, my Mary, my mother, and Kuan Yin stand guard over each of you. And with your permission, we will continue to open up your sacred heart, your merciful heart, as those who are deeply connected to the energy of my mother. Many of you have allowed yourself to connect to the energy of the sacred heart of Mary. And so it is of great importance that today that you allow your own heart chakra, your own sacred heart to continue to open, to bring to continue to bring healing to yourself and onto the world. It is necessary at this time that the activation of the sacred heart begin to pulsate in all souls for this is how the energy of peace, this is how the energy of the new transitional light of Divine Mother Love will come into the hearts of many. You see, dearest ones, there are so many souls that have chosen to reawaken at this powerful ascension time. And so it is a transformational day, a very powerful day, that will allow the penetration of Divine Mother Love, Divine Sophia, to enter into the sacred heart of humanity. For those who are ready, including yourself, we ask you to take a deep inhaling breath until we begin to breathe in the energy of Divine Mother Love, feeling the power, feeling the presence, feeling the energy of Divine Mother Love. And so, dearest children, as you begin to see the petals of your heart chakra begin to open open like a beautiful lotus flower as Kuan Yin stands guard over you, opening up your sacred heart like a beautiful lotus flower opening the petals of your heart, continuing to illuminate, to radiate, and to expand the energy of peace, tranquility, unconditional love, kindness, compassion, and mercy. You see, dearest ones, through the course of time, many of your hearts have been closed off. Closed off from your own pain and suffering, but closed off from the pain and suffering of the world in which you have lived through many generations of time. You've spoken of this many, many times, but today it is a deeper activation, it is a deeper opening of your sacred heart than ever before to allow a softness to occur within you that others will begin to feel a gentleness of your spirit, a gentleness of your own soul that will allow others to trust you, to welcome you, to assist you, And so you see the opening of the petals of the heart of the threefold flame of Father Mother God within the essence 
of your own soul matrix is occurring in this very moment. We ask you once again to take a deep, deep, deep and healing breath. My Mary, my mother, Kuan Yin, stand with you. And allow any suffering that you've had, any closing off of your heart chakra, from any pain or sorrow where others have hurt you, caused you pain and suffering. Or yes, you were feeling the suffering of the world as an impact of the misguided energy of the divine masculine frequency. And yes, the misguided energy of the sacred feminine. Today, it is allowing these beautiful souls, my mother, my Mary, Kuan Yin, to step forward into your energy field and to feel the expansion of your heart palpating and radiating love. Sending love first to yourself into your own etheric field, into your physical body, into your consciousness, into your subconsciousness, into all aspects of your being. As you are surrounding yourself with the golden, golden, golden frequency of Divine Mother Love. Giving the presence of the Masters and the energy of Divine Shekinah to be the calling card the frequency of the essence of your love. As if when you speak, your words will be gentle and loving and kind, and the vibration within your voice will begin to change, and the energy of healing will come into your heart or the pain, the suffering of the past, begins to soften and the memories begin to fade and the emotional pain body will begin to heal and that which has occurred in this lifetime and through all generations of time will no longer have effect upon you people places or things that have caused you pain and suffering will continue to simply transition out of your own etheric body, out of your own emotional body, out of your own physicality. And so once again, on this powerful transition day, allowing your sacred heart to open even deeper to Divine Mother Bob. So, dearest children, as I step back, I will allow my mother to speak at this time, and then my Mary will speak as well. And we thank you, Joshua, and we are forever grateful. Greetings, dear one. Yes, it is I, the Blessed Mother. As we ask you at this time to step forward into your energy of divine power as powerful beings of light that you are. May you begin to feel the energy of your oversoul now stepping forward to be healed and all aspects of your soul essence from the beginning of time to step forward to be cleared of the powerful frequency of divine mother love, divine Shekinah can be the vibration and the signature calling card of your soul allowing your oversoul now to manifest itself into a pure state of love. As if you're operating completely and fully 
from your higher guidance, from your higher wisdom. At every moment that you're operating from your beautiful sacred heart, and those who have connected to me through Catholicism, you understand the power of the sacred heart. Today, allow this frequency of your own beautiful sacred heart to begin to supersede any fear that you might have and open yourself up to a frequency, to a gateway of love. And so at this moment of time, dear Kuan Yin steps forward to begin to open up the petals like the lotus flower of your heart chakra. One by one by one, that which has been closed off within your heart will begin to open. Any fear, any abuse, any suffering that you've experienced will simply begin to be healed and fall away. Just like a beautiful flower, a lotus flower opening. Your magnificence, your generosity, your kindness, your peace, your love. will be felt within your own auric field, within your own macabic field. Gentleness, sweetness, the sweet nectar, of a beautiful state of grace. As if you are truly feeling the energy of great television, opening up your beautiful sacred heart, along with your Kuan Yin and our beloved Mary Magdalene. Grace Elohim comes to grace you as you let go and let go. as each of you are part of the Sisterhood of the Rose, you have chosen this moment of time to continue to open up your sacred heart even further and to feel the grace of God light upon your living soul. As you accept this beautiful gift today, this is how healing will take place upon the planet, one soul at a time, extending your love out onto the world. One individual at a time, one moment at a time, one frequency, one energetic frequency, changing the world. This was due diligence and it is with patience that we come to assist this planet in helping all souls to continue to awaken during this powerful transitional state of the merging of the energy of the divine mother energy onto the planet. Perhaps you can sense it or feel it in the air when it is happening. And today, as we have said, it is a very powerful transitional day, a very powerful portal day. On your December 5th, 2022. As we continue to prepare each of you to live from the heart. Always giving and always receiving from the heart. That what you have given shall come back to you. 
It is the energy of the sacred heart that is opening and flowing freely. For those of you who have felt perhaps life has been difficult or unfair or has not been reciprocal, it is about opening the heart today and receiving. You've heard the old adage, it's better to give than to receive, but that is not a truth. It's what, it is that of reciprocal, meaning that what you give, you shall receive. And so when we open up your sacred heart, it allows you to give and to receive with grace no longer feel the limitations, knowing that you are in divine flow. And as they say, the world is at your fingertips. That whatever you need shall be provided for you because you are in divine flow. This is a part of living from the sacred heart. Unfortunately, The sacred heart has been closed off in many people and many souls the generations of time because of the misguided energy of the old patriarchal rule. This is where control, greed, manipulation has come to rear its ugly head because the souls didn't understand about the sacred heart being reciprocal. As you give, you receive. As you receive, you give. And so you see, this is how the world has been in a state of chaos. And yet, in a state of flux. Because the sacred heart has not been opened. Many souls have not lived from the pure sacred heart. They've lived from their mental mind. They've lived from fear. They've lived from the old patriarchal rule. But this is how you receive by control, by manipulation, by greed, by rule. This is not a truth. It never was. But now, as the energy of Divine Sophia steps forward in this new transition of reopening the sacred heart to Divine Mother Love, people will soften, people will care, people will see the need to give to others. There is no need to continue to be greedy, to control, to rule in a way that is not for the highest good of all souls. And so today as you allow yourself to receive this, know that only good will come to you. As you see, when you're opening up the petals of your sacred heart. Believe and so shall you receive. But today we say, open your sacred heart so you may give and receive. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful gift that you're giving yourself and you're giving the world. Joy to the world, joy to the world. The way to the moon. This is how peace will prevail. This is how your civilization will return to peace. Again, it is why dear Sarah has stepped forward to bring her powerful energy of divine balance for all to receive. Today, the opening of the sacred heart This powerful transitional day of merging from 3D to 5D is being activated even further than others. Re-remembering how you all once lived in oneness with all of us that all your needs were provided and there was no separation. And there was no fear. And 
so I will step back and allow dear Mary to speak. As Kuan Yin and I stand silently to continue to open your heart. As Yeshua stands before you and continues to open up your crown chakra so that you may receive the divine guidance. That is yours to receive. And so I thank you, dear ones, for allowing me to step forward to grace you, to bless you, and to continue to heal you. Today, as you open up your sacred heart, you simply are allowing yourself this beautiful gift of unconditional love. First for yourself and then for another. This is where you come forward into divine union with yourself. I remember union. I remember union. I remember union. I remember the power of the sacred feminine. She merges into her gentle strength and divine potential. It allows the energy of the balance, the male female, to reemerge. So breathe into the sacred heart as I step back and allow dear Mary to speak. And we thank you. Divine Mother, we are forever grateful for your guidance and wisdom. We thank you, Konya, and we thank you, Joshua. We are honored, we are blessed to be seen. Beloved, yes, it is I, Mary Magdalene, as I step forward into your energy field. You can see a bit of fear and trepidation that perhaps this is a bit too much. That you have done this before. As many of you are, have been high priestesses in both Atlantis and Muria and in Egypt. And you stepped into your power, into the full essence of the true potential of Divine Shakina, Divine Mother Love. And you are left being vulnerable. Killed, maimed, maimed, abused, destroyed for your divine power. By opening up your sacred heart today, you say no more, no more, no more. It's a different time. It's a different frequency. It is truly a different timeline, as they say. It is why today has been spoken is a barrel, powerful, transitional day for the powerful portal day of transitional light from one frequency into the next. The frequency of Divine Mother Love deepening into the hearts of all souls. We ask you not to be afraid. We simply ask you to trust, to surrender, and to believe as you connect to the energy of Divine Sophia, Divine Shakina, Divine Mother Love. And so breathe in the light into your heart. 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 Letting go, letting God, letting go, letting God. Breathing in the light into your heart. Letting go, letting God, letting go, letting God. Breathing in the light into your heart. Letting go, letting go. Breathing the light into your heart. Letting go, letting God, letting go, letting God. Breathing in the light into your heart. 
letting go, letting go. And each of you are a divine oracle of love. And as you are representing the earth with a new template, your own soul matrix and your etheric template are being reactivated. And so there's no coincidence that you are receiving this now as you are stepping forward working with the energy of the Sisterhood of the Rose. It is time. It is time. It is time. And the divine priestesses will step forward into this new timeline and it will bring the new divine feminine energy grid onto the earth. Those that lived in Atlantis, the high priestesses, will be gathering again, will come together again, activating this energy onto the planet. And there, the energy, the true essence of the sacred heart of compassion and mercy will be held within the ley lines and the grid lines during the activation. And Mother Gaia and all kingdoms will feel the power We'll feel the shift of consciousness. We'll feel the softness within you. And truly may the love of God surround you, the power of God protects you. The presence of God washes over you wherever you are, body is and all as well. So the power, so the presence, so the glory, so the peace. So the power, so the presence, so the glory, so the peace knowing that you are here and that you are serving in your beautiful, sacred, merciful heart. And so once again, allow Mother Kuan Joshua, and myself to continue to open up the lowest petals of your heart And the wounds of the past, so that your beautiful, sacred heart petals within your threefold flame, and then your beautiful soul and your beautiful oversoul can be at peace. The time has come for the preparation to be received. For again, the planet is undergoing a major transition. From 3D to 50. As if it is overnight, instantaneous. And you will shift from one level of consciousness into another. And fear will no longer hold over you as it has in the past. You will step into your power the energy of the sisterhood of the rose, the sacred beings of light, the ascended masters who have come to serve and to be served on this planet. It is an honor to be with you today. It is an honor to bring this transformational light of this powerful portal day upon you, opening the sacred heart even deeper to divine level of That again is what will heal the world. That is what will save the world. That is how the world will transition from one state into another. You are moving into, as they say, a day of retreat. Listening to the still quiet voice from within. 
opening your heart to receive. And so, dear ones, it is our honor, it is our blessing to serve you upon this powerful portal day of this powerful transition. So know, dearest ones, the love that you hold will continue to spread out onto the world. Each one teach one, each one lead one. You are the light of the world. You are gifted. You are blessed. Blessed be a measure. Blessed as you continue to receive and to allow the energy of the sacred divine mother to return into her full empowerment, into your soul, into your oversoul, into your own soul matrix, allowing that power to be felt, to be seen, to be heard, to be received in love. You are the oracles of love, powerful, powerful healers, mystics, teachers, leaders of the world, walking in both worlds with love and grace and divinity. You are creating the balance of unlimited potential for those who choose to awaken to the love and the light of divine Shekinah within their hearts. Go now, my children, prepare to receive. We continue to grace you and to bring healing to your soul. And we thank you, Mary. We thank you, Blessed Mother. We thank you, Kuan Yin. We thank you, Jeshua. We thank you, Beloved Sarah. We thank all the beings of light who have stepped forward to assist us upon this day. Always sending healing to Mother Gaia and to all kingdoms, to all nations. As the energy of Divine Mother steps forward, we turn back to her rightful position, bringing healing, love, and restoration to this planet. So this planet and all souls may be at peace. And this we give our grace, and so it is.